What's up everybody, it's Elliot with Empirical360. Have you ever wondered which campaigns in your Google Ads account are generating you phone calls? Well today I'm gonna to show you how to set up call tracking so you can find out which keywords and clicks are generating the most calls for you. All right guys, so we're gonna talk about call tracking in your Google Ads account. I'm gonna tell you why it's important and then I'm gonna show you in a live tutorial how we do it. Um, So number one, what is call tracking? Call tracking as it pertains to Google AdWords is using call software to track calls on your landing pages, your ads, um, and your ad extensions, and then pump that data back into AdWords so we can see where your calls are coming from, which keywords are generating those calls, et cetera, et cetera. So why is it important? According to Google, 52.4% of all global traffic is mobile. So if you're not tracking phone calls in your Google Ads account, you really don't know where a lot of your leads are coming from. So now I'm going to show you how to implement it. First, we create a call rail account. Then we set up dynamic number insertion. We need to install a script on your website. We have to set up a call extension and click to call number. Then we need to integrate your call rail account with Google Analytics. We need to integrate it with Google Ads. And then we need to create a goal in analytics so that can pump back into Google Ads. All right, so we're going to jump to the screen here. So this is a test call rail account I have set up. It's just a trial. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over here and create a number. So this will walk you through a bunch of different prompts. It's really simple. I'm gonna use this number online on my website. Uh, where do you wanna display it? On my website or somewhere else? We're gonna talk about this option a little bit later, but first we're gonna do the dynamic number insertion. Um, we're gonna track all user activity. And so we like to name the number pool very simply, just website. And the pool size, uh, we usually go with the recommendation from CallRail, so it'll use eight numbers. And then we need to pick a number to forward to. So we're gonna to go to our website and we're gonna pick whatever number we have on there to forward these calls to. So there's a number, click next. And we usually select all visitors and this will tell you whether they come from PPC ads, uh, direct traffic, referring you know, URLs and things like that. And then we choose our phone number. So you can do toll free, this costs two extra dollars. We can do numbers local, so we'll just choose toll free. Choose an 855 area code. And then you can, you can choose whether to record your phone calls or not, and it'll play a message. Uh, this call will be recorded for quality assurance. And then we activate the number. So that's it. Now it's gonna give us an option to set up a call flow, which we're not gonna do in this video, notifications. This means that it can send you email notifications uh, when you do get calls. But what we are gonna do is set up dynamic number insertion. So we click this, it'll take us to another screen. And it's gonna give us a little piece of code here that we need to install on our site. And right here, it tells you exactly where to do it at the end of the body tag on your site. So what we do is we navigate to our site over here and we use uh, Divi to develop our site so it has a really clean interface. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it right here in the body section, just like this. And we select Save Changes. So now what we should see is this number should flicker and change. And there you go. So that is now a tracking number. So this will rotate every time a new visitor comes to your site. And this is how you are able to track these phone calls. So now that we have that set up, we're also gonna set up another number for our ad extensions and our call only ads. So I'm gonna go back here and create another number. I'm still gonna use this online, but I'm not gonna use it on my website. I'm gonna use it somewhere else. So I click here. It'll ask me ad extension or somewhere else. I'm gonna choose ad extension only on mobile devices because desktops can't call. And I'm gonna forward it to the same number as before, which is not that one. I believe it was, there you go. Next, we're gonna choose another number just like we did before and it'll give us uh, a range of numbers here or we can choose toll free. Um, so I'll just choose one of these local numbers. And then we get to choose whether we wanna call, record this or not and activate it. So now that that's activated, what we need to do is we need to link our call rail account to our Google Ads account. So what we do is we go over here to settings and we click Google Ads. Select authorize and now it's going to ask me to sign into our Google Ads account. And it's going to ask, you know, call rail wants to access your Google data. That's fine. You have to allow it. And now we need to select a company. So we have a tutorial account in here somewhere. 
tutorial account right there. So I selected my company and now I just like this, I don't have to do that. Now I click activate. So now Google Ads has been integrated with CallRail. And so now what we like to do is we also like to link our Google Analytics account. And this is just uh, for a little bit of redundancy. So that way, if, if anything breaks or, or we don't know what's going on and we want to see in analytics where our calls are coming from, we can view that data in here as well. So it's much the same. We click Google Analytics. We select our website URL here. Put it in here. And it will pick up the tag just like that. All right, so now if we just navigate here or we refresh the screen, we should see a green check mark that says our analytics has been activated. All right, so we have everything activated here. So now this is all set up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an event in Google Analytics to track phone calls. And this is, again, you don't have to do this for Google Ads. This is just a layer of redundancy. Um, we like to do it just in case things break. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our goals page and we're gonna choose a custom template. We're gonna name this phone call and we're gonna select event here. Click continue. And in the category, we just put phone. And if you want, you can verify this goal. Otherwise you just click save. And now your goal is created. You can see it here, phone call. So now what you have to do is you have to link your Google Analytics account to your Google Ads account. And how you do that is you come back over here to the admin tab. So right here, you go under property and you choose Google Ads linking. So it's gonna pull all your accounts just like before when CallRail did it. I'm gonna choose tutorial account all the way to the bottom and click continue. And I'm gonna choose all website data and click link accounts. And this is taking a second. All right, now our accounts are linked and you have successfully linked your analytics to your Google Ads account. And before that, we linked our CallRail account to our Google Ads account. So now those conversions will be pumped into our Google Ads account. So this is how you set up call tracking in your Google Ads account. See you next time.